In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to input a string for an information lossless machine if the output string is given and the initial state and the final states are given. Now, this is the given machine. Now, the output string is 00011 and it is applied with initial state A and the final state is also given as B. Now, we need to find out the input string corresponding to this output string 00011. Now in order to do that, first of all, we need to test whether the given machine is indeed an information lossless machine or not. If it is indeed information lossless machine, then only we can find out the input string for the given output string and the initial and the final state. Otherwise, it is not possible. So first of all, we need to test whether this is information lossless or not. So we already know how to do that by using a testing table and testing graph. So we need to develop a testing table. The output alphabet contains 0 and 1. So the column of this testing table will be 2, 1 for 0 and 1 for 1. So the upper half of the testing table is going to contain the given states. These are the given states A, B, C, D. And we need to find out the implied states for corresponding outputs of 0, for output corresponding to 0 and 1. Now for A, what we see here, both the transition provides outputs 0. So Z is equal to 0 is going to contain both A and B because both of these transitions to A and B are producing 0. And this is nothing because for A, we are not getting any state which is producing output 1. For B, it is again 0 for both the cases so C and D will come here because C and D both are producing 0 nothing is here for C it is not producing 0 in any case either of the cases it is producing 1 for both the transitions so C D comes under Z is equal to 1 for D also we see that transi uh, transition to B and A both producing 1 so 0 is produced when 0 is not produced by either of the cases and a b both produces output as 1 so this is the upper half of the testing table and we need to use the information of the upper half of the testing table in order to build the lower half of the testing table and lower half is going to contain obviously six combinations of these states a b a c a d b c B D and C D. So A B A C A D B C B D and finally we have this C D. Now we need to combine each of these implied output pairs for finding the in order to find out the right hand side of this lower half of the testing table. So here for A B what we get here is that something like this. What we get here is that for A, B is here and C, D is here. So A should be combined with C and A should be combined with D. Then B with C and B with D. So A is combined with C and we get A, C. A is combined with D, we get A, D. Then B is combined with C, we get B, C. Then B is combined with D, we get B, D. And nothing is here because both the cases we do not have anything. A, C, for A, C, it's nothing here, something here. So nothing will be here. And A, C here also is nothing. Because if we have anything as blank, then combination with the other is going to produce blank. A, D, for A, D also we have nothing here and nothing here. For B, C, we have nothing here and nothing here. For B, D, we have nothing here and for bd also we have nothing here for cd we have nothing here but we have something now a c should be one a c i'm sorry a c should be one implied pairs of the states then a d a with d then b with c then b with d so this is the lower part of the testing table and since the lower part doesn't contain any repeating states in any repeating states in uh, any of these sets so obviously it's a, an information lossless machine so we can find out the input against the given output again in order to find out the 
order of the information losslessness we need to develop the graph testing graph and the longest path. we need to find out the longest path and adding two with the longest path is going to give us the order of this machine i'm not doing that because i already did that in my last tutorial you can see that how to find out the information losslessness order mu so we are going forward to find out the input string for the given output string so since the machine is information lossless so we obviously can find out the input string against the given output string the output string that we are given in the problem is this one zero 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 one one we need to find out the input string now the initial state is a and the final is b for this what we need to do first is to develop a, an output successor table from this given machine and it should be developed in this way the output successor table has to be developed in order to find out the input so first of all what we need to develop is the output successor table present states are a b c d and uh, and and for since there are there are two different symbols in the output alphabet so obviously we should have two columns in this output successor table as well z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 now we need to develop the table in this way so there are four states a b c and d so for z is equal to 0 what is here what we have here is that for z is equal to 0 that means for output 0 we have a as the destination state from a the source state with input 0 so what we write here is that a slash 0 this is the input and this is the state transited state so a goes to a on input 0 and produces output 0 so if in general we write it is something like this if we general in line if we write it generally so if s i is a state it goes to s j and produces zero so it is under z is equal to zero column and it is on input zero so this is the input actually and this is the destination state from this state and the output is this one so a zero and there there should be another one because it also produces it uh, it also produces zero on transiting to b for input one so here we should have another one b for input one and nothing is happening with output one here so we should left it blank because for a nothing is generating output one so under the column z is equal to one for output one we should not have anything for b we observe that both the states are both the transition are producing zero so we should have something under the column zero c it is transiting to c trans transiting to c on input 0 and it is, it is going to d on input 1 and nothing should be here for c we see that nothing is giving output 0 both the cases what we are getting is output 1 d is giving 1 on input 0 and c on transmitting to c it is also giving 1 but for input 1 so d0 c1 is here and again for d we do not have anything as output 0 we have both the cases producing output 1 so here what we are doing here i should write it in this way you should understand this that this is the next state next state and set that means this is the next state and this is the output okay so for d what we have here is both the cases it is producing one so nothing should be here under zero so here b is produced for input zero and a is produced for input one so a is uh, b it goes to b for input zero and it goes to a for input one so this is the output successor table and the information that we have in this table will help us to build will help us to find out the uh, uh, input string for this problem for the given problem now where we should start we should start from a because this string given string is applied on a so we are starting from a a is the starting state 
now from a what you see here is that on getting output zero if we get output zero there are two possibilities there are two possibilities one one we can get it now if we add uh, there are two possibilities we can either go to a or we can either we can go to b from this table we get this information okay now if the if we can go to a and we can go to b both both these are possible now we are, i am writing the output in this way first we are writing the output then we are writing the input now if we go to a it is for input zero so it is in this case in the in this way that i am writing the output slash input that means this is the output and this is the input so from a we get the output zero for input zero now from a, and we go to the state a now from a we this can also happen we can get the output zero for input one and for input one as you can see it here that from a we can go to b with input one and we can produce still zero so zero output could be produced by from a by either of these two state transitions now from b what you see that if we want to get zero from b if you want to get zero as output we can go to either of the c and d so we can go to c d now it also produces zero it also produces zero but this is b goes to c for input zero b goes to d for input one now from c or d we cannot get zero because both c and d in all the cases produces one because it is under the column one so all the cases for c and d are producing one so we should not go forward with these branches because they are all going to produce one and we do not have one in third cases it is the first output first output zero it is first output zero then we get, go here we get the second output as zero and we could go to c, c or d so we got the corresponding input for second output but here in order to get the third output at zero we cannot get it in this branch because both c and d are going to produce one so forwarding with these two branches are not going to give us output zero so we should not forward with these branches so we should look here from a in order to get the second output as zero there are two cases as we know we can go to a or we can go to b so zero output first produced from a for input zero we go to a and there are two cases zero and one so for zero output we could go to a for zero output we could go to b now for in the third cases third case in order to get zero again zero 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 one we can go to a and we can go to b as well now if we go in this way zero is the first output zero is the second output this zero is the third output now if we come here now what we need here is output 1 but we see that neither of this a and b are going to produce output 1 because output 1 is not produced by a or b so we should not go forward with these branches they are not going to give us the desired input so the branch that we are left with is this one so we got two outputs 0 and 0 here then we come came here and from b what we need is a 0 now from b we can go to either of c or d for zero output both c and d are producing zero output so for zero output we can go to c for zero output we can go to d as well for going to c what the input is needed is zero for d it is needed as one so we go to c or d now we see that both c and d are producing one so we obtained the corresponding inputs for three outputs 0 0 0 0 0 0 it may be the inputs may be 0 1 0 or 0 1 1 either of these three inputs could get us to 0 0 0 as output and we may come here c or d now we need to see what could give us one as output now from c what we see that what we observe that from c we can get one as output if we go to either of d or c c or d so, so from c we could go to 
D or C. It is going to produce 1 for 0 input. It is going to produce 1 for 1 input. So we get 1 as output and we may go to C or D. Then what we need again is 1 and 1. So again we can go to from D. What we see is that we can go to B and we can go to A. So for Z, one output, we need one output in the next case. So from D, what you see is that we can go to B, we can go to B for zero input and we can go to A for one input. Now this is our final state as given. So this is our final state as given. So we can now find out the path that is leading us to the final state. We can, you can go on checking with this branch D as well because D will lead you to B and A but that is not uh, with the sufficient number of inputs. So we are leaving that branch. So here we can observe that we get 1, 0, 2, 0, then 3, 0, then first 1, then second 1. So in this path, what we are getting input as and we are reaching to the final state B as given here. So the input corresponding to this output is this one. It is 0, then 1, then 0, then again 0, I'm sorry, then again 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0. 0. This is the input corresponding to the given given output. This is the input corresponding to the given output that is leading us to the final state B from the initial state A. So since the machine is an inf information lossless machine, that's why we are able to find out the input string again the given against the given output string. Otherwise, it would not be possible. So this is how you can find out the input string against the output string. So I hope that this video tutorial is helpful for uh, to you in order to do this. So do some couple and do some uh, other examples from your book. And should you face any problem, just don't hesitate to mail me. I'll help you to solve the problem in in, in the complicated cases. Thank you very much.